I'm in Windows Terminal. Let's take a look at how we can make new profiles and what that means. So you can see that there's these different tabs. And then when you click on them, it shows you various different views of whatever your default program is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the drop down here and choose settings. So we see that PowerShell is already here and it's already black. What if I want to create another profile where PowerShell is blue? So that way I can have two PowerShells open, but it's easier for me to distinguish one from the other. So I go down to add a new profile and we get this new profile option that comes up and we can choose which one of the three that we would like to create the profile for. I'm going to choose PowerShell and then what I'm going to do is choose the duplicate option and then I'm going to go in and change the appearance. So I click on appearance and let's say I would like to have that uh, change to a different one. We'll say Campbell PowerShell, which is the blue. And when I click Save, there we go, we can see that I now have Windows PowerShell, and then we, hit, so we see this Windows PowerShell copy. When I click on the copy, I see the name at the top, so I want to change that name. I'll hit the drop down, and I'm going to call this Windows PowerShell, I'll change it to blue, and click Save. Now I'm going to close my settings, the drop down, and choose my Windows PowerShell blue, and there it is. Now, obviously, I've changed the font size, but I have another video that shows you how to change the font size very quickly. So that is how we add new profiles and what they mean in Windows PowerShell inside the terminal application in Windows 11.